Hey guys. Hi. Since it was our last day of school for grade 10, we've decided that we're gonna tell you guys a whole bunch of funny school stories that we can think of. Which one do we go first? I don't know. Think. Oh. I don't know if I should say this or not because we still go to the school. Correct. No, like things are like we're gonna get in trouble if anybody oh. like from faculty finds this. Oh, that's not bad. Okay. So. We're also above an airport. Above an airport. So, sorry guys. So literally the randomly in the middle of nowhere. So we just decided to film because we want to film. The first story that I'm going to be telling is that at the end of grade 8, we discovered that we didn't have to be in class. <laughs> we didn't like skip or anything. We asked our teachers and we could leave. So we're like, oh, can we just walk? We literally go to teachers and be like, can we just walk around for this period? And they'll be like, yeah, sure. And so we just walk around. And while walking around, we discovered many places in the school that like you wouldn't find if you didn't just walk around for a bit. One of the places that we found was the auditorium and how easy it is to break in. So this auditorium is like locked at all times, but we did find a solution. There was this one time where the door was unlocked and we wanted to come back later. We didn't want to come back now. And so I had the greatest idea of running to get a piece of paper and I folded it up and slammed, oh, it's so windy. And it's like, put it in the door like where it locks so it wouldn't lock but it would look locked but it wouldn't lock and it worked it and then we just like got into it all the time and we always use the trick forever we still do Wait. <laughs> okay guys so that was just another story from us in grade 8 grade 8 was wild guys we're probably gonna make a whole video on grade 8 stories because it was crazy <laughs> i don't know how it started though okay so there was this kid in the back of the class who like like our teachers would let us charge our phones this kid at the back of the class and he needed to charge his phone and so we asked some other kid for a charger and so he's sitting at the back of the class this is like not abnormal like this happened all the time like people needed to charge their phones <laughs> in like math class <laughs> but i don't know how it, how it happened like, well we just look back and we, we were like back? oh my god and we just look back his phone is on fire. on fire i think someone threw it it was like in the air when i looked and it was on the floor and it was all blowing up on fire I'm like, it was literally like in flames like it was engulfed in flames it blown up everyone was like freaking out there's also another story where someone we were in like in class and then someone decided to lit a paper on fire until <laughs> but then until our principal never let anyone in our class to come into the breaks and the door was closed at all points. Yeah, because it was like during, it was during COVID, so like break time was just like, you were only allowed to like be in your class. Mm -hmm. But we were the only class that wasn't allowed in our class during break times because like we set things it's on fire. It's on fire. The phone, the paper. So this was when me and Erica decided to like venture out during lunch times. We went down really far down a road and then we found it we was a Mercedes-Benz Mercedes dealership. Benz dealership and we decided we wanted to look at the cars and we're looking around at the cars and then we look at the time and realize we have to leave because we're late for class so us <gasps> you, you see what happened there was like fences right so we're like okay there was like the Mercedes-Benz and then there was like cars everywhere right so we're like we're just gonna walk to the other side and then go back to school there was a fence on the other side like very high Erica's like I'm just gonna jump it she throws her bag over the fence and then we both decided to like climb the fence. We didn't climb. The <laughs> we didn't climb the fence. We didn't climb so the we fence. sprint like all the we way ran. back. We made it on class on time. But we did. We've run never to been. Class too. Hold on. Just to putting out for the record, we have never been late for like being out and then coming back. We always make it on time. I don't know how. Literally by like Jesus, we make it on time. But we always make it on time. When we want to make it on time. Because <laughs> <laughs> yes. we have a really funny boy in our class. He always. In our class, it's been our, he's been in our class for three years. Yeah. He always has a leather jacket. He's always like suited up with like his hair is like spiked kind of, and he's just like always like in like this one pose like. Okay, okay. What if he sees it? Okay. No, we don't get. I don't know how it started. And then there was like there's like this like bad boy. He was literally the bad boy. He had a jean like, jacket. He was a new suit. Jean jacket. He had a, no, not jean. Leather jacket. Oh, I'm talking about. Oh, but they're both for bad boys. <laughs> leather jacket he was like a bad boy from like let's say he's like, like a famous 19, actor too you could find him 1960s i and dare you to find boy, him i dare you to find him the bad boy was no we're not daring then he's gonna okay fine <laughs> so dare. if you and find him i will give whoever finds this boy 50 dollars. i swear oh. and then the bad bad boy was like the weed smoker the guy who thinks he's so cool he's better than everyone in class right and they were always just bickering they were always just bullying and they're yelling at each other, and then I don't remember what happened. <laughs> it was so funny. I'm but so he was at the front. No, it was my desk. 
desk. I'm sitting in my desk. There's another desk. The other desk bangs into my desk. I say, what's going on? I turn there. I like, I turn to look at who banged my desk. They're already behind me, except one guy's on top of the other guy. One guy's on the floor, and one guy's going like, no, like this. I'm no. like, what? The bigger guy, like the bigger guy, took the actor and like <laughs> threw him. <laughs> yeah, threw him. Like, and when I look like, back, it was okay. Like, this sounds so bad that we're laughing at it, but like he didn't get hurt at all. Like he didn't get hurt. It was just really funny. He just like threw him against the desk, and the desk like <laughs> flew like thirty meters across the glass, and everybody was like. <laughs> I thought I was gonna die again. <laughs> and then my, our friend like gave the guy like a pe his pencil case to like put it in that was his phone to put in his pocket because he was like leaving or something. And then he comes back, he sees him like halfway glass and glass, like the desk. He's like, my phone! <laughs> 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 It's so bad. It's so bad, guys. It was so bad. Like, imagine an actor it was that like, is the actor of a bad boy from I the thought, bad boy. I thought he was acting in that moment. <laughs> Our friend also got in a fight with his actor kid because he put soy sauce on his locker. <laughs> I don't know why. He put soy sauce on his like locker combination. The actor was always ready to battle. He put like soy sauce on his locker and then he got mad and then he like tried to push him. But like, our friend is very much stronger than actor kid. And they're like, they almost like fought in the middle of the cafeteria. The blockers. And then another, then the box, then the actual I just like, remembered a story that we guy. have to tell. No, Sorry. But then the boxer boy who thinks he's a boxer comes in. He's like, stop, 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 stop. And then they just like ended Who's it boxer because. boxer boy? He came in, I was there. I think I was there. But he came in, he's like, stop it. There's no need to I fight. I didn't and he goes like this. He's like, stop. And he's like blocking them from fighting. I didn't know the story really that funny. I want to tell guys. This is a crazy story. So buckle your seat buckle belts. Oh, basically, our school. I don't know why, but everything crazy always happens on Thursdays. I don't know why. We're out at lunch. So we're not here while all of this is happening. We only see what I'm going to tell you later. Oh, I know so what I'm say. there's this one kid and he was like messing with someone from another school and he was like calling him like different like names or whatever. They decided to come to our school and like threaten him and he got scared. And then so he... <laughs> He got scared. He got scared. And he like tried to fight them, but they had pepper spray. <laughs> and so they pepper sprayed him. But then his friends got mad at the people who pepper sprayed him and chased him all the way to this like it's like this like burger place that we were at. And like Bloody. this one's not funny. But um they just like Yeah, anyways, they just were mean to him. And he was really hurt running down the street with that. But we just saw this like crazy kid like running down the street no with no shirt, and we're like, and "Where's he was your shirt?" Visibly hurt, guys. He, he was visibly hurt. That was yeah. That was just this wasn't a funny story. This was a crazy story. Thursdays, man. Yeah, Thursdays. We only him running, guys. We only saw him running. No, and we're like, what? No we get back. And Everyone's like, "Do you know what happened?" I'm like, "No, I just, I got, here. I just got here. I just got here." So there's this kid, and um, I, on like the last day of like my science class, it was like a potluck. Like, bring your food, and we can all like enjoy some snacks. Is that gonna cause a distraction? So this kid decides to bring in a pound of bacon. He brings in a pound of bacon. Don't forget the I'm gonna, I'm gonna not forget the skillet. He brings in a pound of bacon, and then he's like, somehow someone hands him a skillet. And I'm like, what's going on? Then he's in the back of the class cooking this bacon on the skillet. The whole, I was like, what is going on? I was sitting there, everyone brought cookies. No, I don't even know who gave him the skillet. He just popped up with a skillet, popped up with a pound of bacon. He's not cooking the bacon in a skillet in the back of the class. And then the entire hallway smelled like bacon. Everyone was like, where's this coming from? Where's it coming from? Our class. The bacon, making in the skillet. And he's like, the bacon guys. he's like, I need tongs. Everyone's like, where are you going to get tongs? He's like, I need butter. Where are you going to get butter? My teacher pulls out tongs and butter. I said, what is going- Why are we prepared for this? I said, what's going on? Guys, there's another story. But this happened to Kate. This happened to Kate. <laughs> are they also in business? This is we're in a business place. You guys, we're in the business. There's like a really fancy restaurant right there, so. Kaylin's in her business class. There's a guy in her, her class. He's Stop hitting funny. the table because it's moving. Oh. Um... <laughs> He's funny, all right. He is funny. He's he, funny. He decided. What was he doing? He decided to do pull-ups on the door. On the door. And no, it was on. Him? We have this like the ceilings like come down, come down like this, and then yeah. there's like the light in them like this. Yeah. But like you can like grab onto it and like do pull-ups and like a lot he of like decided, the gym bros. Like the gym bro decided the gym bros. to show off his pull-ups. Except he didn't know that there was this teacher in front of him. Who was it? Teacher in front of him and a few other people. Yeah. And then there was another people and the whole class behind him. One kid decides to pull down his pants. Not just his pants, his underwear. Let's just clear that out. 
his underwear and his pants. Who's in front of him? Whoever's in front of him saw up over here, which was his teacher. <laughs> and then the whole class saw his dairy air. <laughs> and I now, did get mooned and I, that day. And, yeah, and it's not just like, it's not only her class. I heard it. Like, I heard it around from other people. And it was, it was going a, it around was like, everywhere. It was like a school story. And then apparently he had, after he had a next class after, and everyone was laughing. And they're like, oh, how is it that we saw your pants? And he's like, I'm not going to talk about it. And he was like, all sad. He's like, I'm not talking to anyone about it. I feel bad. Hey, Dave. We're learning like human anatomy, okay? That means like the body, body. the genitalia, everything, reproductive systems. Whoa. We're in math class, and this kid, we're gonna name him Mario. Oh. We're giving him a fake name. Mario. Mario and Miss, we're gonna call her Miss T. Miss T and Mario. Miss T and Mario did not get along. The video cut out, I have no more storage, we have to go fast. And Miss T was yelling at Mario. And Mario was like, she's like, you never have any of your math stuff, blah, blah, blah. And then he's like, check in my bag, check in my bag. Like, what do you want? Check in my bag. And then she's like, what's that paper right there? And she's like screaming at him. And then he's like, what do you want? My penis? And like shows up like the whole, the whole penis paper. anatomy. And then she was like, she got really hard. She was like, and then she had to leave, and then she kicked him out of the class. He had to walk out of this class, like, screaming, like, yeah, like, my pants. 60, like, 70, and she was so mad. Anyways, it was very funny. <laughs> Guys, so that's it for the, today's video. We're sorry it's so short, but we have to be quick. And we love that we're seeing new comments on our videos. Thank you so much for the love. Please comment more on the video. Like, subscribe. Thank you, you guys. Also, you should try these. They're really good. Okay, bye. bye. We're gonna make a part two.